Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to have what is called a perpetual calendar. With this skill you'll be able to look into the calendar of either the present, the past, or the future and to get right to the day of the week you're looking for. To do this you're going to need three specific codes. The first code is going to be the month code which will give you a way to get to the number you want quickly. Then of course once you get to your number you're going to need the week code and ultimately you're going to need a century or year code. Now let's start with the first one. The first one is going to be the month code. The month code is a number that you attach to the month which goes as follows. January is 1, February is 4, and March is 4. April is 0, May is going to be a 2, June is 5, July is 0, and August is 3. September is 6, October is 1, November is 4, and December is 6. Your week of code is going to be from Sunday to Saturday. Sunday is 1, Monday is 2, Tuesday is 3, Wednesday is 4, Thursday is 5, Friday is 6, and Saturday will be 7 or 0 because 0 is considered perfect so 7 is 0. For the year code you're going to need 100 years broken down into seven sections. So what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to try to recite these, I'm going to lay these out for you. Now the first thing I'm going to do is give you that particular first column and I will recite these ones because I want to use it as an example for the rest of the code. Now one thing to note, all of the codes I'm going to give you are based on the years 1900 to 1999. It's not going to be for the current century. To do the current century, what you have to do is subtract 1 from your final answer. So let's start with the first division. The first division will have the year 1, 7, 12, 18, 29, 35, 40, 46, 57, 63, 68, 74, 85, 91, and 96. So all of these years are going to be considered in group 1. And their designation will be the number 1. If you're looking into the 2000s, it's going to be 0 because you subtract 1 from your total. Now what we're going to do is look at how this works as far as getting the date you're looking for. Let's say for example that you're looking for April 15th and we're going to use this number one so one of these years is going to be looking for either 1940 or 1935 you know, or whatever the, uh, the code is for that particular line. So what you're going to do is April 15th April is a 0, 15 plus 1 is 16. Next what you do is to get to your final day you start casting off 7's. What that means is you look at how many 7's are going to be found in 16 and there were two of them because 7, 14 plus 2 and then you have 16. So you cast off your 7's and you're left with the number 2. Looking into your day of the week code, 2 is a Monday so therefore that day is a Monday. Let's move on using the same division as, as 1 and we're going to go into let's say Christmas. So that's going to be the 25th of December. Now one thing you got to know is if you have a 6, 6 is 1 less than perfection. So all you got to do is basically to take away 1 from the day you're looking for. Or in this case since it is a 1 you simply say it is as such. Because if you take away 1 and you add 1, it's back to 7, which is 0. So that's unnecessary. Look at 25. You start to cast away all of your 7s. So that's 7, 14, 21. Okay? With at least 4 days left. And 4 is a Wednesday. 
So in that particular divide of years, Christmas fell on a Wednesday. And the one thing about the code is, like I said before, every single year in that particular section will have the same days of the week. All right? So let's do one more for example. And let's just pick a arbitrary day. It doesn't have to have any meaning to it. Let's say uh, May 7th. So we're looking at May. May is a 2. 7 is nothing, right? Because 7 is perfect. And then we add a 1 to it. So it's a 3. And 3 is a Tuesday. Very simple to do. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to give you a chance to write out the entire list for the rest of the sections. So that'll be, I'm going to put in one, but it goes from one to seven with all those years uh, listed in. What you're going to do is you're going to use your own particular brand of mnemonic devices and figure out how you're going to memorize those particular years. Now what I did when I learned this years ago was I used my house list and I just put every single one of those objects, I used the FNA code, I said for example, I took um, I took the seven and made it into a cow, and then I took the twelve and I made that into a, a tin can, and so on and so forth. And I put those all in the first part of my house, and just made a very vivid description and used a lot of imagery. So therefore, when I thought about it, when someone said 1940 or 1907 or whatever it was in that particular uh, line, I just see it right there on number one in my house, and I say that's one. And I was able to do the math quickly to get the day of the week. So do that. Learn this. Have fun. This is a great skill. And it's something that most people can not even figure out how you do this. Because they don't know that this is based on science. This is not something that, you know, like you see these movies and you know, like Rain Man. Well, the people like that, they can do this because they, they figured out without even knowing how, they, how it's done, how to do it. But we can use this particular skill because... We know the science and the math behind it. Okay? So have a great day, and thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.